20 feet of tunnel is excavated out and my basement is completely full of rock. 10 tons of it sitting in a pile waiting for a solution to get it out this window and 14 feet up to the surface. How did I get here? What am I going to do about it? Let's dig in. Previously, I cut a hole in my sub-basement wall and started cutting into the rock under my house. While I have a lot of experience digging holes, I never tunneled before and I'm concerned about water, difficulty, and maybe collapsing rocks. So I needed to prove to myself that this expedition into the bowels of the earth is even possible before worrying about getting rid of the rock. Now I've run out of road to kick the can and we need to invest in infrastructure. I am kind of new to YouTube, so experimenting a little bit before I morph into YouTuber color. So smash that like button below, subscribe and buckle up because we're going off the rails. Back to the infrastructure, we'll need a head frame and hoist, a hopper elevator, a ramp and a mine cart. The most important component of a mine is the head frame, which is used to hoist material. I have this huge window well, so this will be perfect. I set up two 6x6 pillars and a laminated 2x12 beam from which I will attach a hoist. I got an off-brand one from Amazon and it's super heavy, almost 100 pounds. Mounted it to the frame. Now to the elevator hopper. I designed the scale paper model of the box and bought some steel to fabricate it, but there's a problem. At this point I was new to welding and I assumed that I would need to run the welder with 240 volts. But I didn't have an outlet which matched the welder plug. I decided to replace a dryer outlet but that led to another issue. I didn't know anything about electrical and I recorded my haphazard attempt and I posted it up on TikTok and I had my first unfortunate viral video. I have an extra dryer outlet and I thought I would replace it with one that is compatible with my welder. My welder plug looks like this, which is odd, and it doesn't fit for this one. I went to the store and I got this outlet, should work, but I need to figure out how to replace this with this. Now the instructions in the back says that I should use a tubing uh, fixture like this. So maybe I have to replace this with this, but uh, I don't really like having so much current inside of a metal box. First step is to cut the power to the house. This is what it looks like inside the outlet case. I managed to get the old box off. Even better, I found a plastic two gang case. I think you're supposed to break these tabs out. I'm going to try to do that one. Oh, that, that was not hard at all. I'm stuck again. I can't cut it. It's too thick. I got absolutely destroyed in the comments, and an interesting effect of that was the algorithm associated my account with the kind of people who are interested in this sort of content, and thereafter, most of my follower base was electricians. Moving forward, I bought lineman's pliers and hooked up the plug as best as I could, violating some codes in the process, but got the welder working. Now we can lay down some beads. Fabricating the hopper was fairly straightforward. I watched some videos on welding and played around with different settings, managing to make a pretty good box, although the sheet metal warped a lot from the heat. I had the most difficulty designing a door mechanism. I used shims to, and clamps to keep it in place. A little gap near the top where it pivots and then the pivot rod is going to go right through there. This latch mechanism took me five, six different mental iterations and eight hours of thinking before I designed it.
an unfortunate aspect of using the laundry room for fabrication is it looks like this. I am embarrassed to have guests over at the moment. I'm ready to start sanding it and painting. This was a lot more work than expected. It's quite heavy, probably a little over 100, 150 pounds without the door. The door latch will fit in this loop and this, this eye bolt is adjustable. And now it is sanded and ready for painting. And now the first coat is done. Let's attach the hopper cart to the hoist. I tried suspending the hopper, but we have a critical problem. The head frame is not tall enough for the bottom of the hopper box to clear the railing. I need to extend the pillars. Here's where I made a big mistake. I tried to jack up the beam while adding an extension, but it shifted and it all came crashing down. Of course I posted the aftermath. The beam and hoist assembly was 400 pounds and was impossible to lift by myself, so I made a janky crane anchored with a come along and some concrete blocks and a fulcrum at the windowsill. It was about to rain and I could not get any help, so I used whatever I had around. I added some additional counterweights and pulled with my truck and managed to get it all the way up to the top. The hopper is at the bottom of the shaft and I am ready to start integration testing. This is we'll start with a partial load. I made a chute with an extendable tray. Let's test it. I lost some of the load off the edge. Now I've loaded it at two-thirds capacity and have added some walls to the chute. Still having issues. Let's try once again. Third time, the... Yeah, still having some problems. The hopper pivoted backward and the load got bound up. After making a bunch of adjustments, I'm testing again at 110% capacity. And it's working perfectly. Right in the back of the truck. Now for the minecart ramp. I need a lot of lumber for the ramp and these two side rails make it a breeze to get it down into the basement quickly. Now I'm building the ramp which will allow me to get a powered minecart up to the window so I can dump directly into the hopper. It is a huge waste of effort to dump the rock on the ground and shovel it out the window like coal into a furnace. I am building it extra heavy with 6x6 legs so it will not topple over and last a long time. The steepest incline that I feel safe with is about 33%. And now it is done, ready for use. Finally, time for the minecart. I bought this powered yard cart on Amazon and converted it into a minecart by adding a plywood bed liner to hold rock and a hinged tailgate on the back. It is super powerful and I'm able to drive up this ramp and dump directly into the hopper below. This is going to turbocharge efficiency. Now I can start tunneling at an industrial scale. I hope you enjoyed my second attempt at long form. I come from the world of TikTok where storytelling has to be short and tight. Editing often takes a lot longer than it should because I always get sucked into side quests and concepts. For example, I wanted embedded videos with scrolling text to the right like this. Simple, right? Well, I tried screen grabbing from the browser, but I could not get the text size and smooth scrolling like I wanted. This isn't going to work. Time for some engineering to make it work. First, I adapted a Python project to extract comments from a video. I copied the HTML from my homepage and extracted all the links and used some Excel logic to filter the video IDs. Then prepared a shell script to execute the Python for each video. It pulled all the comments into a series of JSON files. Hundreds of thousands of comments in beautiful JSON. 
Then I asked ChatGPT to prepare a web page with my specs, cause who has time for that? It did so beautifully, very nice. But it didn't run, and I asked it for some help, and it provided a nice simple solution. And there we have it, scrolling text, exactly what I needed.